Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Office of Consumer Credit Commissioner's stakeholder meeting to discuss rule amendments for annual registration fees for registered creditors. My name is Matt Nance, and I'm the OCCC's Deputy General Counsel. I'm joined by other members of the OCCC staff, including Commissioner Leslie Pettyjohn, Director of Licensing, Finance, and Human Resources, Moran Diamond, and paralegal Nico Fisher, who's acting as our meeting organizer. We're holding this meeting through an online webinar, and I want to thank everyone for joining us. Uh, getting input from stakeholders is a really important part of our rulemaking process, and these meetings help us make sure we produce the best rules possible. Our webinar platform is GoToWebinar. Uh, some of you might be listening on your phones, some may be watching on your computers, and some may be doing both. For those of you watching on your computer, there's a questions window where you can submit comments to our staff. And if you have technical questions about using the webinar, uh, you can type them in there and Nico will try to answer those questions. We're discussing a pre-comment draft of rule amendments that's available on the OCCC's webpage for recent and upcoming rules. On that webpage, you can see the draft rules by clicking on the link for registered creditor fee rule. If you have any comments on the rule amendments, go ahead and type those in at any time, and I'll be getting to those in just a few minutes. And if you're on a computer with a mic, there's a function allowing you to raise your hand, and then we can make, let you make a comment verbally. We're talking about rule amendments that come out of SB 1371, a bill that the Texas legislature passed in the legislative session earlier this year. SB 1371 authorizes the OCCC's oversight body, the Finance Commission, to set registration fee amounts under chapters 345 and 347 of the Texas Finance Code. So I'd first like to summarize these rules and then lay out the proposed timeline for the rules and then you'll have a chance to provide comments. In this draft, we have two different rule sections with proposed changes. So the first section is section 86.102. Um, in this section, the rules would specify that the annual registration fee is $10 for a registered creditor under chapter 345 and $15 for a manufactured home creditor under chapter 347. These are the same amounts currently provided in the statute, the finance code. So the rules wouldn't change what registrants are currently paying. The amounts would effectively be moved from the statute into the rules. Now, the OCCC is a self-directed semi-independent agency, and we are authorized to set licensing and registration fees to offset the cost of regulation. We follow a self-leveling methodology where each industry pays the cost of regulating that particular industry. And after reviewing the fee amounts and our costs, we believe the current amounts are appropriate to cover the costs of regulating creditors under chapters 345 and 347. So that's why the rule amendments would maintain the $10 and $15 amounts. We also have a couple of amendments in section 86.102 that would update the rule to consistently use the term annual fee. Um, in section 86.103, we also have a couple technical changes to update cross-references to uh, back to section 86.102. Um, so with that, I've summarized the rules, uh, and here we have a, a proposed timeline for the rule amendments. You can see we're requesting informal pre-comments by tomorrow, June 1st. We intend to propose the amendments uh, at the Finance Commission's June 16th meeting. There would be an official comment period during the month of July. We'd present the rules for adoption at the Finance Commission's August meeting, and the rules would be effective in early September 23. Uh, this is, of course, a tentative timeline, and all of this is subject to the Finance Commission's approval of the rules. So with that, I've summarized the rule action, and I will open things up to comments on the rule amendments. Uh, again, there are two ways to provide your feedback through this webinar. First, you can type your comment out and send it to us through the webinar's question feature, or if you're on a computer with a mic, there should be a function allowing you to raise your hand. Um, also, if you have a longer written question, feel free to type a quick message into the question field and go to webinar explaining that you have a longer message and we can wait and give you some time to type that message out. So, Nico, do we have any written questions or comments through the webinar? OK. 
Okay, um, I see there are no questions at this time. I uh, wanna make sure folks have a chance to uh, provide any comments or questions or raise your hand if you'd like to make a verbal comment. So I'm gonna wait about one more minute just to make sure um, we've addressed any comments. Uh, again, if you have a longer uh, typed message, feel free to put, uh, type in a quick message saying that you have a longer question and need a moment to type it out. But otherwise, I will wait for about one minute from now. See if we have any comments. Okay, I'm still not showing any stakeholder questions or comments. So um, I, I do wanna thank everyone for uh, joining us and uh, listening in on this webinar. Again, we are taking informal written pre-comments by uh, five o'clock PM tomorrow, June 1st. Please send those to uh, rule.comments at occc.texas.gov. Um, rule updates are available on our website, and we will also be posting the audio of this meeting. Um, again, please feel free to submit informal written pre comments by the end of the day tomorrow. Um, I want to thank everyone for joining us and listening. Please be safe out there, and we will see you next time. Thank you.